what's up y'all so i told you i had two thoughts today i guess i'll put both of these videos out but here's the second thought right somebody put on i think it was rachel cargill's page the other day like a white woman who was like be nice to us we're we're little stumbling toddlers <laughs> and then ijeoma um alua was like but you're not toddlers the reason they make toddlers cute is so that when they do dumb shit, we don't kill them. That's why they are evolutionarily made adorable so that we can tolerate the behavior of a toddler. You know, and in this dark and twisted world, oftentimes we kill them too. So let's be clear. Here's the deal though. Cause I'm actually, I, um, Yes, actually, developmentally, um, there is a way in which white people are absolutely toddlers in this conversation of um, race and white supremacist delusion. And that's unacceptable. And it's a damn shame. And so here's where you get to reckon with that dynamic, right, is you can absolutely, there are plenty of places in our lives where we are developmentally little, where we are developmentally underdeveloped. There are lots of places in our lives. And guess what our work is to do? It's for the adult part of us to parent the little part of us that is still developmentally small. To care for, them, but not to foist our little selves and our grown ass bodies off onto other humans to have to manage. That is not how that works. So yes, you may absolutely be under developmentally um, underdeveloped in this area of your life, but it's not my job to parent you. It's not society's job to parent you. It's your job to parent your little self. And again, as I said, I'm not telling anybody messages that don't come from my direct life. My assignment was to go back and give little Sonia all the things that she wasn't given so that she could have the information that she needed to move forward with me and stop making decisions on behalf of adult Sonia. Some of y'all are out here in these streets, which are, uh, with your underdeveloped toddler information and then say, you take care of my toddler and you take care of my toddler. And no, you take care of your toddler. You seek the information that your toddler self needs. You contain your child so that your child isn't wreaking havoc in all of the world. And I believe that this is a key part of people's healing in general, but certainly the developmental healing of white people is that there is trauma there that needs to be tended to. In, in, your, in your spiritual child, in your ancestral child, and in your real life child self. But you don't get to foist your baby off onto me. I didn't make it. It's your baby. <laughs> And unsupervised toddlers wreak havoc in the world. I think this way of raccoons. You ever see unsupervised raccoons? They're like little toddlers. They turn over your trash can. They all up in your food and shit. They're, they, they're adorable and they wreak havoc. The difference is your little child, you're not furry or cute. You're not. You're a giant grown person with your toddler self wreaking havoc in the world. But it's your assignment to take care of your toddler. It's your assignment to go and lovingly, lovingly coach the underdeveloped part of you that needs coaching. And if it needs specific guidance, it's your responsibility to find a professional and to pay them to walk with you, not to be in the DMs of black women asking for advice for free all over the internet, on threads. We all have inner child work to do. And in this moment, it is your inner child work 
that is going to keep you from causing harm. Take your adult self and gather wherever you are developmentally that is not at the fullness of yourself and get to work with that. Literally, figuratively, and all the ways. There's some reparenting that white people need to do with themselves so that your underdeveloped toddler white supremacist delusion can stop wreaking havoc in the world. Go, go parent yourself lovingly. What's up, y'all?